Hi guys, we have another episode of our organization. I think this is part four, I think. We're gonna talk about dies and die cutting machines. And I'm gonna show you what I do. I have a silhouette, the little one, is it the Cameo? Which technically is a die cutting machine. I also have a Big Shot. So I'm gonna show you what I do. Now in the past, both of them have been crammed into a cupboard or a closet in a way that it was difficult to get them out and dig them out when I wanted to use them. My silhouette is not plugged in all the time, so I only dig it out when I want to use it. Um, otherwise, it's just out cluttering up space, and I don't use it enough to have it out all the time. I also, although I have a big room, I don't have the space to have it out all the time because I would prefer to have other things out. It may be different for you in your space, so that's something that you want to consider. Do you use them all the time? then maybe you need to make space for them if you use them all the time or you want to use them all the time. For me, it's not the case. It's just an occasional thing, but I do use them so I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to go in the closet because yeah, they're in the closet. I'll be back. Okay, in one of the last episodes, we saw this bit in the closet because we were going over where, how I store my rubber stamps. And I said that uh, that blue bag was my Zutter Bind It All, and then this bin is my Silhouette. Um, so everything is in this bin. These bins are from Target. They're called Why Weave Bins. This, I believe, is the medium, I think. I'll link the bins in the description below. Um, and all of my Silhouette parts are in the bin. So when I want to use the Silhouette, I just pull the bin down, put it on the work table, plug it into the computer, and start going. That works for me because the only time I really use the Silhouette is usually when I'm creating things for the Etsy store. So that works for me. I don't use it a ton, but when I do use it, all the parts are there and I'm not digging around for stuff. This is where my Big Shot parts live. So these bookcases on the other side of the clo same closet, um, this one is all Etsy store stuff and then blank journals some of which are in the Etsy store and then this is a pretty like everything else um, and I know I have a lot of paper but I do use it um, or I'm trying to use it up so my big shot sits up here on the top shelf so I can grab that again and put it on the desk and then my dies are here I don't have a ton of them um, but I have them in, again, the short Y weave bins that I'll link in the description below. I love these. I use them a lot in the um, art room, but I use them all over the house. And um, this works for me because I can just flip through them this way and find the dies that I, the die I want, bring it or a pair of them to the table along with the big shot and then cut paper and do what I need to do. Um, I have a lot of the bigs dies, as you can see, and there's a few... Um, embossing folders in the back and then I have other miscellaneous um, die cutting parts big shot parts and thinlets thinlets the thin dies in here the small ones are in these boxes um, these I got from my friend friend uh, Vicki Brown and the dies um, are on sheets of magnet and then they're all sealed in the box so I can just bring the two boxes to the table to find the dies that I want to cut with. The only ones that aren't in there are my border dies because they're too big so they're right here. I don't have a ton but this works for me because I can just grab what I want out of the bins um, and take the, whatever it is I'm wanting to use and the big shot to the table and work with that I had them all in a deeper bin, and the problem with that is the bin is heavy, my shoulders aren't what they used to be, even post-rotator uh, cuff surgery. Lifting the bin was a challenge, it was just weighed way too much, and um, then I would have to dig, and I just don't, don't want to have to dig. If I have to dig, I'm not going to probably use it. This way I can just get into the bins easily, and I can get what I want while it's in the closet, I don't, there's no digging involved, and I can grab the machine and whatever dies I'm wanting to use and go to the table and work on it and then put it back when I'm done. And that works for me. Um, I will link um, what I can, like the boxes and magnets and stuff, in the description below if you have lots of thinlets. There's lots of other ways to store your dies. So I do advise figuring out what works for your space and what works for how you use them and then decide what you want to do. 
I am trying to get my friends to help with some of these videos. So if any of them have filmed a video on dye storage, I will link it in the description below for you all. And um, we will see what they do. And um, yeah, so this works for me. Um, but you have, again, you have to work with your space and figure out what works for you. If you have a smaller room and a smaller space, you might need to do something different. Um, but I have a big room and I can really spread out. I have ha less than half of what I had in the old room, which was a lot smaller. It was 10 by 10. Um, but the advantage to having less things in a bigger room is that I can really spread out and do what I want to and what I need to. So that works for me. That's it for right now. Don't forget to go out and uh, like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for check out the video description for any relevant links um, to other videos or products. And my link tree link is in the also in the description below. When you click on it, you're going to find places you can follow me on social media, places you can support the free content here on YouTube or over on Facebook. Um, including a Teespring store, my Etsy shop, where to buy my book, my Amazon affiliate store, my tip jar, Patreon, like all that stuff. Um, there's a happy mail address. There's a bunch of stuff. Check out the description. I recommend it. Um, and the most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.